Alrighty, so uh, we're looking at uh, AC coil replacement. Uh, we put in a new furnace, uh, I think it was October 2019. Um, so we got all the return drop, media filter, um, flue piping all tidied up. Um, so it was a B width furnace. And then we had uh, 43 inches in height um, from the top of the furnace to get underneath that supply trunk. Um, we do have some room, I'll look at this, we do have some room at the back. We should be able to get the coil out without having to disconnect the flue pipe, so that's that's nice. It's not a walkout, um, so we're just going to pop up these stairs here, and then we can either go out through the back or out through the front door um, to get the new coil in. You can see the drains close by. Looks like we put in a, a, a probably put in the new vinyl. We can update that at the same time. And then the line set size drive. So I'm going to suggest we reuse that. We flush it, pressure test it, recharge, and then we re-insulate um, on the outside. Um, that's it. Um, yeah, B width on the coil, and we got good height. You can see you kind of did a transition off the furnace, so get everything on the same. Symmetric. That's it. And then if you need to shut power off, uh, the electric panels on the left side. If you're looking at the house from the street and it's not labeled we're thinking it's the double 30 um, if you need to shut it off for the AC that's it